hi guys welcome back to my channel so I for today I have for you guys this beauty a flip through of this beauty so this is basically um, a very personal uh, planner that I set up um, I really love the way that it looks uh, I don't know if you guys saw my video when I first bought this but I got this on Amazon uh, Belinda Celine which who's a, a youtuber she actually bought this on Amazon, and when she did, I do follow her on Instagram. She did a stories on it, and she shared a link. And I was one of the lucky ones, or first ones, to go in the link and purchase it. So I was very happy with um, the purchase. It's kind of like, a, it's an A5 of the Damier, Damier Azur by Louis Vuitton. It's, it's a, a dupe. If I, if I want to say, and it's beautiful, and it has like the rose gold, rose gold and rose gold um, rings. Um, this planner, what I'm using it for is as a wellness slash depression diary planner. Um, I will explain as I show you guys um, the setup of it. So on here, I have this pen. It's super cute. It's like a little bear. I just kind of want to have it in there. I do like the way that it writes, um, but I do use this uh, Sharpie as gel pen to write in here because it's really, really black and it's nice and smooth. But this one, I do have it in here um, for another section that I will share with you guys. And then in the card slots, I just kind of have like these little um, like flower. It's this The theme of this planner is like flowers, gold, and, and girly like pinky things. So in here, I just kind of have like this decorative cards. Um, I also have this. It's kind of like a dashboard or like a, not a dashboard. It's a page marker that I made, but I I'm using it just to kind of decorate the spine right here. Um, and it's a Christian Dior. I kind of just laminated this Christian Dior ribbon, and I thought it was really pretty. Um, I might eventually punch it, but I'm not sure, because I would have to cut it. As you guys can see, it is taller. So I would have to I use it either in my classic size, or um, just continue to use it in here. I do like the way that it looks. In the back, I have these stickers that I found in Dollar Tree, in case I want to use them in the planner, or just keep them there for decor. And then I have these label stickers as well in case I do want to label um, some of the pages inside here. So again, um, I'm keeping this Christian Dior page marker in there right now mainly as a core. And I want to tell you guys that this planner smells so, so good when I open it because I have this um, Chanel chance um little perfume sample in here and it's just it smells so so good if you guys want to have kind of like an experience when you open your planners get your favorite perfume or a perfume sample that you really enjoy and put it inside of your planner every time you open your planner you're gonna get that that smell that scent and it's just gonna feel like so nice that's how I feel every time I open this planner. And then recently I went to Sephora to get something that I wanted. And um, I saw that they had these, the Joe Malone perfumes. And I've been curious to see like how they smell. Um, and I tested out this Peony and Blush Suede. It smelled so good. Um, so I decided to put it in here to kind of have like a little, an, another smell hitting my nostrils when I open this up. And then I just have like these Chanel flowers um this la la love card another decorative card in here and these card slots then in the back i laminated um some rose petals and some leaves from flowers that my husband has gotten me throughout the years and then the first thing uh that i have is this love yourself first dashboard that I printed on vellum it's a freebie from Mindy plans I think it's beautiful and it kind of was perfect for this planner because um, this is my wellness my mental health wellness planner um, it, it's more like a journal but it's for my mental health and I felt like this dashboard 
kind of tied in perfectly with it. Uh, it says, how you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. So that's very important. Um, after that, I just have another one of these dash Chanel da um, tissue paper dashboards that I made by just laminating some Chanel tissue paper from a gift that I received. After that, I just kind of have this vellum with my initials and my name, KMC, and then Karina in the middle. Um, my full name is Karina Margarita Cruz, so that's what KMC stands for. Um, and then I have this vellum that I got from AliExpress that says XOXO. I kind of always um, sign off, like in my YouTube videos, if you go to um, my information section, I always sign off with XOXO Karina on the bottom. And then this is the first tab. Again, these are not labeled. I don't think that I will label them because I know what each section is for. And this isn't necessarily a planner. It's more like a, a diary, like a wellness, mental wellness diary. Um, focus more on my depression, my depressive states. So I don't feel the need uh, to label them. So my first tab, um, I basically have like some trackers and like a goal section. So it starts off with this dashboard that I created um, it's that says more issues than Vogue. Kind of in a way to make fun of me, of myself um, in, a, in, a, in a way. Uh, and then we go into my goals. And then these freebies I got from the planner spot. Um, and in here, I just kind of have my goals and these are pertaining to, um, managing my depression. As you guys can see, um, managing my depressions, writing down my feelings and learning to cope in healthier ways. Those are my three main sections. And then I have, um, like things that I want to do daily, weekly, and monthly to work on those things. Um, this is a page marker that I created myself using Asia door. A perfume card and then I just kind of punched it on the top and put like this Dior ribbon there um, and then this continues on with my these are other goals that I have pertaining to helping me with my mental health and my emotional health like eating better work out read more, drink more water, et cetera, et cetera. Do more healthy habits, things like that. So that's all in my goal section. Then I have a daily schedule. I haven't really um, written down like an exact daily schedule yet. That's why I don't have one um, set up yet because I do some at the moment. It's kind of all over the place. There are some things that I do religiously every single day, but then there are other things that I am not consistently doing. So once I have a daily schedule set up that it's routinely and that it works the best for me, that's when I'm going to write it in here. Uh, and then I have these inserts that I got from AliExpress. So it's basically um, monthly, like a monthly tracker. What I eventually want to do once um, I get a chance is to write in here um, my feelings. For example, in my catch-all for every single day, there's like a, a feelings tracker. I want to put the results of that in here so that at the end of the year, I kind of have an overview of what my feelings looked like throughout the year, like how often I was anxious, how often I was sad, how often I was okay, and if I had any happy days. So basically, um, what I'm going to do is I'll put like the type of smiley face um, that I had for each particular day. For example, if today was a happy smiley face, sad smiley face, things like that, I'm going to put them in here so that I can keep a log of, um, of that. And then this is another tracker. It's a yearly one. So in here, I think I want to keep track of either my productivity or my, um, my fitness goals in here. Like how often I exercise and things like that. I'm not particularly sure 
But the one that I really want to focus on is this one, like keeping track of my feelings for the year. So that's what those are going to be for. And then the next section says, and relax. Let me see this glare, you guys. And relax. Again, another dashboard that I created by just printing this out from Pinterest and laminating it. So this is my the main section, really, of this planner. It's my uh, mental health um, slash depression journal. So how I use this planner and this jur journal section is that there are some days where I wake up and I might be wake up okay, but then all of a sudden my something hits me where it just puts me in the lowest of moods. I feel emotionally terrible. Basically, I'm depressed. On those days, I want to keep track of those feelings. I want to write them down. I want to express them to kind of let them out. Um, let them out experiment on them, um, think on, kind of think them through and see what's the best way for me to deal with those feelings. And that's what this planner has been helping me do. Um, for example, February, I started this planner basically last year on february 2020 and i'm continuing it on as you guys can see i wrote in january 13 2021 i'm continuing it on i'm gonna keep um all the pages in here as as long as they'll fit once it fills out then i'll probably store these away somewhere and then refill but basically february 7 of last year i was doing not doing so great so I wrote about it. I'm, I wrote about my feelings and I wrote about depression. I write a lot about depression in here and how depression feels and how depression feels for me because I'm guessing it probably feels differently for everyone. Um, sometimes I'll share some of these emotions on an Instagram that I have that's called um, no, no Fear, Just Hope. Um, and it's called that because I feel that for me what works for me, when I'm dealing with um, anxiety, fear, and depression is my faith. Uh, when I am hopeful, when I pray with all my heart, it helps me deal with my depression state. It's the only thing that will get me up from the ground, like my having hope and having faith. So um, I decided to open a an Instagram that I don't really share with everyone, but it's called No Fear, Just Hope. And in there, I also share like some feelings and also some quotes that um, help me cope and deal. Um, I do want to share maybe a little bit of um, some of the things that I wrote in here for any of you guys that maybe might be going through something similar and maybe you will relate. Um, for example, as I said, February 7th was one of those days where I woke up and I was just feeling really, really bad. And I just needed to let those sad feelings out. I wrote, um, depressive people deflect. We try to deflect away from our feelings, hide them in front of others because we don't want to be a burden or irritate anyone with our unhappiness. I've, I've decided to let my feelings out to at least let them out in writing to help ease up my heart. It's hard to be understood when you are this way. It's not something easy to control or to stop or to make go away. It comes in waves, sometimes high, sometimes low, but always constant. When you are depressive, you are never 100% okay. You have your good days, you have your bad days, but you are never 100% okay. So this is me like writing down my feelings. And in here, um, when I wrote, I've decided to let my feelings out at least in writing to help ease up my heart this is what this just describes what this planner is for in in that sentence um that's what i'm using this planner for um again this is something else that i wrote it's hard feeling this way because technically i don't have anything to be sad about um so it doesn't make any sense and that is why i understand why most people don't get depression because even we don't know why this happens. 
um, you are healthy, your loved ones are well, nothing's really wrong or terrible, um, yet you feel sad. Why? And that's so hard to answer because you don't know why or where the sadness comes from. Um, and that was another day. And then I think this was my latest uh, insert in here. So basically, I don't do this every day. I do this when I need when I need it. And when I need it, I and I write in here and let those feelings out. It really kind of helps me feel better and helps me put my feelings and my thoughts into perspective and helps me deal with them in a more positive way. So this is the last time that I wrote in here, which was last month, January 13. Um, I wrote, I consider depression a thief. It steals your happiness. I have found myself these later years asking God to teach me and show me how to be happy. But I'm noticing that what ails me comes in a clear, clean swoop from one second to the next. And it just takes my happy feelings away. This is why I want to learn more about depression, how it happens, how I can fight it, how I can treat it and learn how to live with it. But most importantly, how to learn to be happy in spite of it. Okay, so that's one of the last things that I wrote in here. Um, and I do have a page marker. So that way, when I need to write in here, I can come quickly and get to the, a clear page to let those feelings pour out of me and I can feel better. So right now I just have enough pages in here. And as I said, I'm going to try to keep in here as much as I can. And then once it fills out, I'll probably store those pages somewhere and um, refill the planner. Then this is my next section. And I just wrote in here, take time to make your soul happy. So in here, I just have blank pages. And what I'm going to do with these blank pages is I'm either going to draw um, sometimes I like to, I used to back in the day, write poetry. So I might write poetry. I might draw in here. Um, just basically do anything that I want to do, but that's, uh, more, more relaxing. Not, not, I don't want to do any to do's And he, this, this planner is not for to do's is not for brain dumping other than depressive feelings or sad, sad feelings. This planner is not for um, projects, ideas, anything like that. This is to de-stress, to kind of let sad feelings out, explore them, deal with them, um, learn to, to live in a more positive way and live with my depression in a more productive way and also do things that will relax me and will help me deal with that. So that's what these clear um, blank pages are for. Drawing, um, doodling, uh, maybe practicing writing, doing whatever I want, poetry, anything that's not, that's relaxing. Um, then we have this section where I put this uh, dashboard that says, let faith be bigger than your fears. So again, in here I have these blank pages, but they have their graph paper. So um, in here, again, I can draw, I can color, I can maybe add um, washi tape, stickers, whatever I want to do that's, that I might consider relaxing at the time and fun, I'm going to be doing in these pages. And then the last section is going to be um, a reading log. So one of the things that I want that I've been doing this year that I started doing at the end of last year also is getting back to reading. I always enjoyed reading. Uh, it was always a little bit of an escape and relaxing for me. So um, this section is going to be to keep track of the books that I'm reading. And if I also want to add in here a maybe some of the blank pages where I can write in what the books were about or what I learned from the books. Um, what lessons were in the books, what I related to in the books. I want to also do that in here. And for that, I made um, this dashboard. I believe this was a freebie. Um, I printed it on photo paper. I don't want, I don't remember whose freebie this is. I'm really getting bad with that. Um, I need to start from now on when I print out a freebie from somewhere writing down where I got it from, maybe writing it in the back of, of the insert, because sometimes I forget. But if this is your freebie, let me know so I can give you credit. But this, I did get this 
from someone and um, I printed it out on photo on white photo paper and I put these stickers on there that are from um, the happy, my happy planner books they're from my the happy planner detox and wellness I, I want to say sticker books and then I have this um, book tracker in here where I'm gonna fill it out and then as I said I want to add I'm probably gonna be adding some either lined pages or some blank page pages in the back so that I can kind of do um, a book review for each of the books that I that I read if they were books that um, I felt I could relate to or I learned something from or that I just want to write on because I really thoroughly enjoyed them I'm gonna be doing that in here as well um, and then in the back I just have this folder in case I want to keep anything in it um, I just have this fly leaf to protect the, um, the back of the pages. Um, I have some stickers and some label stickers as well in case I want to add them to these pages where it's just for writing whatever um, for writing whatever I want that's relaxing or drawing. And that's basically it, you guys. This is my mental wellness um, slash depression um, diary and I really really love this planner I love the way that it looks but also I love what it helps me do um, and what I use it for um, if you guys find this video helpful please let me know in the comments down below if you relate to any of my feelings or if you want to come up with a planner like this um, and you have any questions comment down below I will be more than happy to answer any questions for you guys again um, I hope that my videos are useful for you guys and if you enjoy them um, please comment like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye everyone